Hey everyone, this is voiceover Elizabeth here. We're doing something a little bit different today. As you can see, I've already started painting this piece pretty much with no introduction at all, so let's just get right into it. First of all, you might be wondering why I'm doing a voiceover instead of my normal kind of chatty, what I normally do on the channel, and it's honestly because I felt that that was a little bit too limiting with what I was trying to do with this piece. I really wanted to do this watercolor painting with my new brushes, and as you can see, those are the brushes I'm using, the Princeton Aqua Elite. But I realized as I was trying to talk and trying to paint and trying to look at a reference and mix colors and X, Y, and Z and all these different things that I just, I was not happy at all with the direction that the painting was going. I felt like it was being rushed because whenever I'm filming talking videos, I never really like to hear myself talk. So it just stresses me out and I want to get it over with so I can be done talking. Um, but yeah, so I decided to really just put the camera to the side as a third party and pretend it wasn't there because I feel like that reduced the level of, okay, this has to be perfect, this has to be quick kind of, um, yeah, kind of approach. And so I just let the camera roll while I had a YouTube video playing on in the background. I think at one point I had some music on and it just, it felt really nice to be able to just sit down and paint a portrait like this because I have not painted a portrait like this in a very long time. So anyway, on to kind of what I'm working on. Uh, as you can see, we've got a really interesting mix of colors here, and that was one of the biggest issues I was having while trying to film this video. I could not decide what color palette I wanted to use. And I toyed around a lot with my favorite indigo and Kaput Mortuum mix that I use a lot on the blog. Uh, and it really was not speaking to me. I tried to use a little bit of Viridian and it just made the colors all muddy. And I, I just, I was so frustrated and so upset because this sketch I've had since July because I've been afraid of ruining it. So here I was ruining it on camera and it just, it was a real, a real challenge for me. And so I decided to just, you know, kind of be like, okay, well, whatever happens, happens and throw some bright orange on there, a color that I almost never work with. And I don't actually think the color is orange per se. I think it's Ircolano Red, I believe that's what it's called. I don't have it written down in front of me, but yeah, some Ircolano Red. And then I also used Rose Matter and using the rose matter you can see on the eye right there and mixing that with the indigo made this really pretty violet color which i thought was just wonderful but yeah that's all i have for you today i really hope you enjoyed this voiceover it was actually kind of fun to film so i might do more voiceovers in the future if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up click that subscribe button and notification bell to be alerted every time we post a new video please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and i'll see you all next week bye